Miss Dallas, you have dragged the defendant, Mr. Stewart, into court today to prove that he is the father of your newborn son, one-month-old Lamar. You say you are shocked that he's denying he's baby Lamar's biological dad, especially since you discovered he's the one leading a double life. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Stewart, you claim that it's Ms. Dallas who's been far from faithful and you believe that baby Lamar's dad could be any one of multiple men. So, Ms. Dallas, take us to your relationship before you found out about Mr. Stewart's alleged double life. Um, I met Cedric with Mr. Stewart in June of 2016. Mm -hmm. I was out having breakfast with my friend probably about 6 o'clock in the morning and... He walked up to me or whatever, offered to pay for uh, my breakfast or whatever. After that, we had changed numbers, and from there, we hooked up a couple of times or whatever. So, uh, first, you just dating casually. Yeah. Okay. And um, we always had to get a room, you know, and I used to ask him, like, you know, I'm tired of going to the room, you know, you know can we go to your house? You said you, you have a house, you own it. And he was like, you know, I have unwanted company there. So I'm like, I want a company. I'm like, um, you got a girlfriend? He like, no. I'm like, you have a baby mom there? He like, no. I'm like, um, you got a wife? And he was like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's when he proceeded to tell me like, oh, they are separated. They're going through a divorce. So, Mr. Stewart? Yes. Right. Did you meet Miss Dallas, date her casually, have sex with her? And finally, lonely later, tell her that you were married. It didn't I quite asked. go like that. You How know, did just, it go? You know, it, it didn't come up. You know, I felt like it didn't come up. Like, you know. How it, did it not come it up? Didn't. It didn't. That's come... relevant information, is yeah. it not? Yeah, true that. Yes, yes, Your Honor. So wait, you were basically out acting like a single man? No, I wasn't act. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm glad you just went on yes, ahead and told honest. the truth. I had to think about it. Okay, so you were out there <laughs> acting like a single man, but you were married. Yes, Your Honor. Were you getting a divorce then? I wasn't in... You know, I didn't have it filed, but in my head, yeah, I was getting a divorce. In your head. That means you were still married. Yes. Moving legal. on. So, <laughs> how often did you see one another? If you're married with your wife living oh, at home... Oh, that's it. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day? He, every day? Yeah, every day. every day he would come over there when he yeah. get off work. Only time he probably went to his house and when he went to go change his clothes or put on his work clothes. Mr. Stewart, during this time, were you still intimate with your wife? No. Not at the time. Like, we you were... Lie. You know, like... I don't know how to put it, but it's like... We were living together, but we were having problems of our own, you know? So, Ms. Dallas, once you found out he was married, did you have second thoughts about dating a married man? Yes, I did have second thoughts, but once everything started hitting the floor, like, I, I was already pregnant. You know what I'm saying? I love Cedric, you know? And he was telling me, like, I'm gonna do the divorce, we gonna have a house, you know, all this, we gonna raise our son together, you know? I was believing him because that's all I had to do was believe him. You know? So he had you high off the promises and drunk yeah, off the dreams. It right. was all... Right. It was flowing. Right. All right, now, listen. This is, this is what happens. <laughs> okay. When you're a married man out there trying to probably keep this young girl... And, and date and, his wife, too. And, and have your wife, too. No, no. But, but at some point, you found out you were pregnant, and that will sober you up. Yeah, I thought, I thought everything was gonna be okay after that. And then when I found out I was pregnant, Cedric was happy or whatever. Oh, you were? Yeah. So, so you were genuine... Even though you were still married to your wife, you were happy your mistress was pregnant? Yes. Do you have any other children? Yes. You do? How many? Three. With your wife? No. We have no kids in common. But you have three children from a previous relationship? Yes. How long have you been married? Ten years. So you found out about this baby and you were happy? Yes. But you didn't have doubt at that time. If you were happy... No, no. He started beginning doubt. So-called my associate was telling him and his wife that I was sleeping around with multiple men when I conceived um, Lamar. Someone that knew you? Yeah. They start giving you information? Yeah. yeah. But it was the same friend that sent him naked pictures of herself to, to him, telling him that, was that I was, you know, sleeping around with somebody else. So why wouldn't she say that she want to sleep with you? Oh, you know? Man. Did the friend send you naked pictures, Mr. Stewart? Yes, Your Honor. But... So don't you believe that would discredit... Yeah, I, that's why I didn't... Yeah, that was... But that was, like... That's one of my 
doubts. You know what I mean? Uh, That's other, just one. Yes. What's your other doubt? Well, the other doubt was like when he got here, he don't look like me. He got look at his hair. He look mixed. He don't look mixed. Look mixed. All babies come out with <laughs> fine mixed, hair, baby. and I'm pretty sure. So, got at what knows point it. do you have to come clean with your wife about this baby? Mm-hmm. I told her. her. Picture of the. Because when me and Cedric were supposed to be to... together, Roberta sent me a picture of her, him and Cedric in the bed. Now Cedric has my name tattooed on him. She sent me a what? picture. She sent me a picture of him and her in the bed, naked together. His wife sends a picture to you of them in the bed. Yes, and he was asleep, and she was taking a picture. She sent it to me, and that was after the time, you're pregnant. No, she didn't know I was pregnant. We was in the hospital at the time. All this was going on, and. I found out I was pregnant, and I sent her a picture of the pregnancy test, like... Oh, you, you know? sent his wife yeah, a picture of yeah, the pregnancy yeah. test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerome, yeah. I want to hear from his wife. Okay. Yeah. Please escort Ms. Stewart into the courtroom. Got it. Good morning, Ms. Stewart. Thank you for joining us today. This testimony is troubling. Yes, very troubling. And it was not true. What part of the testimony do you disagree How they met? Cedric met her online. Okay. And so you believe he was actually looking for... Exactly. ...a that... relationship outside the marriage? I don't say... I wouldn't say a relationship, but relations. Relations. Exactly. Do you believe Miss Dallas knew he was married from the beginning? I wouldn't say she knew from the beginning, but she knew very, very early. And how do you know that is for certain? She called me. And said... She, she was just saying, like, are you and Cedric still together? And... Oh, I never called you and said that, Roberta. She, she you said, are you and Cedric me. still together? It's no need to even lie. I have receipts that I brought. Okay, let me see. That, that let me she see was evidence. met online and not just by Cedric. So, Miss Stewart, you're claiming that what you've presented to the court are messages which indicate she was not just entertaining your husband, but multiple, but multiple men. men. Yes. That's not true. Well, I definitely see plenty of interaction between Miss Dallas and various men. Those inboxes are what they send me. You don't see nothing of me sending nothing back to them. I can't help when nobody send me on Facebook or whatever they asking me. So, Ms. Stewart, you believe that Ms. Dallas was having sex with multiple men... Exactly. ...in addition to your husband. Exactly. And that's why you doubt that this child is your husband's biological child. Exactly. Ms. Dallas, were you intimate with anyone else around the time baby Lamar was conceived? No. Anybody else? No, not at all. Does Mr. Stewart have a relationship with baby Lamar? Yes. D- he participated in doctor's appointments. He, he was there? Yes. And at the birth, he was there? Yes. Did he sign the birth certificate? Yes. So, Mr. Stewart, why would you sign the birth certificate if people have been telling you that she was also sleeping with other people and you had doubt? I guess I had been there so long. You know what I mean? She got other kids, you know what I mean? I got a relationship with them, you know, so I wouldn't just be gone. Wait a minute, now, you standing next to your wife and you telling me how you gonna be there for your mistress? I'm getting confused. (laughs) Who are you actually with right now? Who are you with? (laughs) Who are you actually with right now? Who are you with? Cedric. Lakeitha. So you and Miss Dallas are together? Yeah, we live together. You live live together. together. We we kind of, you know... Well, what's that? You know what I mean. We like, live together, but we, we you go moved back and in forth. together, but we we go back and forth. Like she didn't moved out and came Two back. Days. You know what I mean? And... Are you all divorced or still no. married? Legally, we're still married. We're still married. Miss Stewart, what do you want? Do you want this marriage to work? Are you? I... I... Roberta knows what Roberta has to do for herself at this point. Cedric has three children of his own yeah. that he has neglected to take care of her children. No, that's not Whatever. true, because me and him take the baby over there and my other kids Lakeitha, to go see his daughter and his Lakeitha son. Lakeitha has always stay four there, children. No, you're not going to do him Lakeitha like that. Lakeitha Lakeitha trying has... to say he don't do for his kids Lakeitha because Lakeitha he has four... I've no. been with this man for 14 years. Okay, I know. and I've been his with him son... for the last past year. You haven't and been I... with... It doesn't matter. You haven't even been knowing Cedric a year yet. You haven't even been knowing Cedric a year yet. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you what he's doing. You've been Ladies, still in Ladies, 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 ladies. And then Lakeitha also told him that she has all her children two months early. 
No, I so did not. That's why the timing did not add up. No. Did Lakeitha not tell you, you that? You manipulated me on that timing did, stuff, but did like, Lakeitha not tell you that? Did Lakeitha not tell you she have her kids two months no, early? You told me no, she said I did not. Right. You, told me she you said. tried oh, to add up the days since I have. So my what's this issue early. about the timeline, though? Because I'm I'm big. You know, they was going off the measurement of my belly. I just started showing I was like eight months really getting a round belly and stuff or whatever. But the measurements was threw off. But the ultrasound was right on point. So wait a minute. You all have so much information. You all have had so much conversation. I only spoke it's to It's like her you, the time. women have all the facts and I can't get a straight answer out of Mr. Stewart. For real? I, I, I figure I'm being straight here. No, you're not. You not really are. Because you said you wasn't gonna get on here and try to make me look like a fool because you didn't want to be Man, with Lakeitha. You trying to make herself look like a fool. You don't hear about paternity. You trying to tell her life story, your it's, life story. We're telling that the truth. We're, we're here baby. to tell the truth. You feel me? That's what we're here for. We're here to see why would you question mm. paternity if you had no doubts? You questioned paternity I would question on the reason you on met her. I had. You had questioned paternity Mama's when baby, she daddy, first maybe, boo. when she first told you she was pregnant. You asked for Mama's a DNA test, and Lakeitha also told me I'm going to give him a paternity test. Right, we agreed on that. Before I even got when we, when we found out I was pregnant, me and him agreed to do a yeah, fraternity we test. We sure did. Both of the women, you all have been in touch. Mm -hmm. You all have had conversations. You all basically know exactly what's happening here, and you know he's playing you all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're still standing here getting played. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to understand. Why? And you arguing with one another, but nobody's holding him accountable. Oh, I hold him accountable for everything. No, she don't. I did she not, holds me. Let me tell you no, this, she Your don't. Honor. I did not marry Lakeitha. I married this person right, right so here. Right, so why try to my harass issue, me? My and... issue is with Cedric, no, not Lakeitha. The only Cedric. issue I have with Lakeitha is, okay, if we have women out here like you, what marriage is gonna last? If you know you're sleeping with a married man, no marriage is gonna last because they know they can go to her, her, or her. Hold on now, Miss Stewart. It's just your husband's doing. He just, he told me before you came in the courtroom, I said, were you out acting like a single man? He said, yes. That's it. Because when a married man acts like a married man, it ain't nothing Miss Dallas can do. I don't, think he, your I don't even think he knows how, what a married man should act like. And that is the point. Because you're saying he doesn't, you don't even think he knows what he's supposed to be doing. He's made his own lane and it's right smack dab in the middle of both of you all's neighborhoods. And he's just going back and forth. So Mr. Stewart, if baby Lamar is your biological child, are you planning to have a life and a relationship with Miss Dallas? Yes. And if he is not, your biological child. What then? I ain't really, I'll probably go on my own. I don't need nobody. Miss Stewart, what is Mr. Stewart, your husband, what is he saying to you right now? Miss Dallas is saying, he's saying to Cedric, her, we're gonna have a house, we're gonna do this, we're gonna Cedric do that. Cedric is telling me he's just trying to see if this is his son, because if this is his son, he's going to court to ask for full custody of his son. Right. Is so he I don't... saying that he wants to be with you? Yeah, he, uh, he even said that. He was like, this could make us better as a whole. And I'm like, what? I said, I don't want to raise nobody else's yeah, child. Sound like him. I have text, I have receipts <laughs> where he says that I thought you was going to help me raise him. I said, Cedric, I, I don't have that a too. problem with helping you raise your son. I but I'm, I'm not going to food. be in the middle of you want to be with her today her tomorrow and right. the next day. I'm not gonna be in the middle of that. All right, well, the only way we gonna move forward in this situation is to get the results. Jerome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Dallas versus Stewart, when it comes to one month old Lamar Stewart, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Stewart, you are the father. Hey, I told you, baby. I told you. I ain't got no reason to lie at all. So listen, 
Ms. Dallas, I see you are in tears because I, this... I go through so much with him and his wife. You don't understand. I go yes. through so much. And you will continue to go through I'm, But things. I'm not trying to go through that. I'm not but trying listen, to go through listen, that no more Listen, this is all. what happens. And I'm not I saying you I had to prove... Listen, listen, Ms. Dallas. What I'm here to ask you all, as we look at this beautiful baby, he's here now. He's your son. He looked like him. <laughs> and, and, and look, it is not my place to tell you what to do with your life. But what I am saying, Mr. Stewart, if you don't make a call, your son is gonna grow up amidst this level of toxic behavior. Ms. Thompson, you are summoning Mr. McKinley to court to prove to him and his wife that he fathered your six-month-old son, Legend. You say his wife is petty, and she is the cause of his paternity denial. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. McKinley, you admit that Ms. Thompson was an affair gone wrong, and you say Ms. Thompson needs to leave you and your wife of 17 years alone and find her baby's father. Is that yes, correct? Your Honor. Now, Ms. Thompson, how did you end up in a relationship with a married man? Okay, I ended up in a relationship with Terrell, and I wouldn't consider it a relationship. I would consider it friends with benefits. I was on Facebook, and he was always liking my pictures. He was commenting on my pictures. He was always trying to get attention to be noticed. Wait, One wait. day... Excuse me. I'll let you talk. One day... Uh, anyway. Yeah, okay, anyway. One day, I finally gave him a chance because he was real thirsty, and I gave him a chance because I was like, okay, I want to go yeah, out honey. on a date. That's so, a lie. Make a, I haven't <laughs> even started talking, so they're, I'm gonna let them hang their self. So let, let her road. get this story out, then I'm gonna you know, come I'm gonna let them hang I wanna hear your road. side. Because, like I said, I'm 25, and I'm just trying to tell you the story because you asked me. So, I chose him to go out with, obviously, because he was always giving me nice notes because I wouldn't be here today or we wouldn't even be asking if he was my baby. So, yeah, he was it's attracted so to game. me. And she thought she just went So, to it. make yeah. a long story short, I dated him. We had rap in common, because I rap, you know, and I write music, I sing. I took him to the studio. We spit some bars. Make a long story short, we ended up dating, having um, encounter sexual encounters. We protected ourselves majority of the time. I had been drinking, and we had yeah, messed yeah. around. I wasn't sober enough to make the right decisions, and he knew that. That's a lie. So he took That's advantage of that. That's a lie. Okay, so lie. wait a minute. Did you know he was married? He told me that he was separated. She which lied. Was she knew, Your Honor. They weren't lying. together. She, she lied. stayed in a shed. She lied. And he stayed in a she room lied. in a mess. She lied, Your Honor. All right. She lied. Hold she on, stayed hold in on. a shed. Your Honor, she lied. Okay, I went on his Facebook. She's always posting new and pictures and this and that in her in his because DM. Because I went in her. Hobby. Hold on, right. I went. Wait, wait. I went My in her his hobby. Hobby. And I saw what she had face. to make a face. Okay, let me hear what they're saying. Let me hear what they're saying, Ms. Thompson. This how it go. From my knowledge. I post a picture of me leaving the studio. Miss Thompson got in my DM. When you gonna bring me to the studio? I said, well, I don't know. Do you rap? She like, yeah, she, she rap. can't rap. I said, well, okay. You can barely talk. I live there and bring you today. You know what? So look, later, later on no, that I day, don't. later on that day, I'm I ain't talking win. to the judge. Then the next day, okay. she got in my inbox. I thought you were gonna bring me to the studio. She I said, didn't play her fact, role. She was a side chick. Okay? Fact, side chick. They, I'm a, they, I, I didn't have to stick so around with him, Your Honor. I they were separate. So listen, listen, but, hold on. That's interesting right. testimony, yeah, Mr. McKinley. I want some answers. Go ahead. Let's talk one at a time. Let's talk one at a time. So, out of the blue, she just sends you a message and says, when are you going to take me to the studio? Yeah, to the and studio. And you don't know who this girl is. No, nah, I just knew she was one of my friends on Facebook. I could have been a plot she skiing on from day one because I always had on. He Facebook. worked at the Goodwill. Why she would I want him? He worked in, wait, he worked Yana, in the donation thing before Yana, he got hello, hired. Yana, Why right, would I want all him? All and right. he's two decades older than me. Okay, then you right, y'all are two decades older time. than me. Don't you play with me. All time. right, all right. Okay. Look. Ms. McKinley, yeah, I want to know from you. How did you find out about all this? I, okay, ma'am, one of the girls up there told me that my husband have a young girl in the room. So I knew I had a picture how the girl looked. So I went over myself, knocked on the door. He asked who was it. I didn't answer. So he opened the door. I went in there. She laying under the, in the bed, under the cover. Whose house was this? I took the cover off Who her house head. Is this? And I'm like asking him, what's going on? He's like, what we doing music? Sit down. I'm like, no, I won't sit down. You doing already... music in yeah, the bed yeah. under the no, cover? I have my phone. I have my phone. Y'all know. Y'all know. He was doing music. I wasn't having to You asked me. 
And that's how I found out. I had an idea it was her, because she always, I read his Facebook, they on there flirting with each other on Facebook. So I'm like, okay, I just had to put a picture to the face. Your Honor, oh, since I was having an affair, like they said, how is it that me and him ended up going to New Orleans and I met his entire family? Because how you is it that he was able to take me to his daughter, you his father? Homeless. You were going places? You I went to New Orleans with him. Regardless of yeah, yeah I had a struggle. Homeless. I was struggling. And I was I had somewhere to go, but if he went, I went, I was with him, so I went with him. When we went to New Orleans, he he introduced me to his family, his sister, his cousins. I went swimming. I'm talking about it's like I'm his girlfriend, you know. But in my mind, I'm like, okay, this man too old for me. Wait, but at but the time, it's fun right time. now, because I'm young and I'm having fun and I'm enjoying his company. That's it. So I went to Tulane mm-hmm. Hospital because I wasn't feeling good. He took me. I told him that I was expecting. I did not say it was his. I told him that I was expecting because I'm a woman. I'm a own up to my crap. So I said, oh, okay, it's a chance that this might not be your child. All right. He was upset. He got in his feelings. This man is lying. Look at me. He was all up in my face. He spent money on me. He let me drive his car. And he didn't have no money for me, but at the same I time, did. it was... At the same time, I had fun and joined oh, his so company. Oh, so you went all and I ain't have to spend no money. man with no but money? Y'all he loves this child. Y'all and I know he does. But this woman here is she not going to let him love this it. child. Because she's telling you about my Facebook. My Facebook is private. She's been saying that I'm childish. Yeah, I'm upset. That's my baby right there. I love my child. I take care of him. Man. I have been going through hell because all I want him to do is be a father. I have let them see my right. child. They have took pictures yes. with my child. Man. Now they're on the courthouse saying that, oh, I don't think that's my baby. That ain't my baby. That's not true. They have been around. I let her around. I don't want your man. <gasps> for one, he too old for me. He ain't even attractive to me. Okay. He was just, uh, at the time, he was just something to do. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let me tell you something. I called him in the hospital on the second day because I looked at my child and I said, dang, man, I'm going to own up to that. I did not want him to be the father, but my child sure do got a lot of features. This evidence shows that he has a stag toe. Like, it, he grew into it, but when he was born, it's genetic things. I asked Terrell about my son. I told him about it. Oh, yeah, that's me. So if that ain't your baby, take your shoe off. Let me see that. your toes. You want to see my Yeah, toe? let me see. Take them off. You got on... Did you put on socks today? So you say... <laughs> The overlapping of toes, did stacked not come toe, from me. And it didn't come from you. He admitted that he had stacked toes. It affects up. an estimated 10% of the population, and it's more than likely that heredity plays a part. And then when children and infants have overlapping toes, it's usually the case that one or both parents have the same condition. Do you have an overlapping no, toe, Mr. Not. McKinley? No. Take your I shoe off. one toe next Cruising. to my big toe too long. That's the only thing wrong with Something my wrong toe. with yeah, it. I ain't nothing wrong with my toes. And I have this evidence. I'd like to see we your evidence. We got this about three months ago. Yeah, come on. Through a that's, text that telling my husband, a, oh, this legend dad right here. That's legend dad right there. This evidence... Yes, ma'am. ...is a that picture is. you said yes, you saw. Yana. Where? Um, she sent it she to... She sent it to me. Terrell phone. She it's still in his phone. Mad. As a matter of fact, it's still in her fo- yeah, in his mad. phone. So you got a text, mm-hmm. and it was this picture, and the caption was Saying, Legend's, Legends Real, Real Father. Father. Yes, Goodbye. Yeah, good I have nothing to hide. I did not say that. You can go ahead and prove it. So go how do you phone, think do they got do. this text if it didn't come from you? This woman made a fake page. I have my page private. That's how I know it gotta be an app, because I Oh, you're saying it. they made this. They you know, created this. They made it up, because she got... She made up a whole fake page. So... All of this that they doing is to make me look bad, but I'm really upset because I could care less if he in his life or not. I just want to know who the father is so I can get the help that I need because I'm struggling with my child. If you want to meet her, that's fine. But she don't got to tag along your coattail just to go see your child. I didn't have sex with her. I don't mind her coming sometimes, but she thinks that we are sleeping together. I don't want him. This is not about legend. This is about her with my husband. It's about my child. She calls me on my phone. She calls me and my husband. We let it go to verse mail. She called us. I got verse mails. I got text messages. I think that she should be more mature than that. Wow. and taking consideration that stuff happens and she doesn't need to be a pain in my behind. Let me ask you one question. Have you ever been married? No, I've not been married. Okay. That then doesn't... That, whatever that, no, no, no. That, 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 that's that's all I want to know. All right, that's all I want to know. Because, right. because I can understand now why your perspective is so one-sided and you don't understand. I'm accepting your mouthing off because I know it comes from a place of hurt because I can see you. It's just yabba, 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 yabba. And I'm trying to re... I'm trying to refrain from beating you down because the truth is you are a young girl. You stand here now and it's, I don't want him, I don't want him. You slept with him. You knew he didn't work, have no money. 
You knew he worked at the Goodwill. You knew he had a wife. And you knew he didn't have you anything. No, no, hold on. I let you talk all day. Now I'm gonna talk. You knew all this about this man. And I'm not saying he's right because he's wrong as the day is long. He but what I'm out. saying to you is that as you speak, at first, I wanted you to get the chip off your shoulder because I thought maybe after you got it off, we could get to really who you are mm -hmm. and how this happened. I All in my mind as I'm saying is, what are we gonna do? I didn't like, expect How do we do that? Me. Of course you did. I made a mistake. Of course you did. Now, if you all are trying to see the child, that's what I want to get to next. Legends born. You say you want to be a part of mm -hmm. Legends' life mm -hmm. until you figure out if, in fact, it's your biological child. Yes. You're I... attempting to do that. Miss Thompson saying every time they come, you, sh the wife has to come. I realize yes. what that's rooted in. It's insecurity. What, what, the, what, what in the world's going to be going on when she go over there? So I, I get all that. How often have you seen Legend? Three times. Twice. In six months, three times. Before I left New Order to return back to Dallas, I called Miss Thompson. How we gonna handle this? I say the same way you like, you don't trust Legend around my wife, my wife don't trust me around you. But that still should not involve Legend in the middle of this fight. I say like right now, you say you don't want me, well what the problem do you have with my wife being with me? You know what I mean? It's about Legend. I want a DNA test because the Because possibility... you're saying, and she's admitted in court today, that this child may or may not be your biological That's child. That's what I'm saying. That probably is the most sense you've made today. And it didn't make no sense but, to me because it was not true. Of course it didn't, Miss Thompson. It wasn't of true. Of course it, it was not true. I, you don't I, have I, to feel sorry for I me do. because God I has do. been blessing me oh, yes. and my children. And Listen. I have been taking care of them. I put a roof over their head and I don't have to explain it. You do not know me, but you're looking, pit you're looking at me pitiful like you feel sorry for me. Don't feel I sorry do. for me. And I have this anger built up because he does not take care of his child. So if he doesn't or does, I'm gonna take care of him anyway, and he's still happy. I'm so glad we're here every day, Ron. That's all I can say. <laughs> Me too. I'm so glad I'm we're glad here God every day. I'm glad I woke day. up this morning really to be am. here. I'm sorry, honey. I'm what glad that say? I was woke up this morning to be here. Absolutely. I'm glad that I had the Absolutely. opportunity to speak my mind. Right. Right. You got your moment to be able to say what you need to say. That's what this moment is. I feel better. Listen. <laughs> Not, not, Crystal! <laughs> Miss Thompson, don't miss your moments in life. I won't. Don't let hurt, anger, frustration, you get bitter, your teeth so clenched, you just, ugh, like, it was like your head was gonna pop off. Yeah, I, I was upset. I could see. And that's lie. why I just brought it down, because I knew there was another you in there somewhere. I'm not gonna cry my makeup pretty. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I want to, but I'm you, not. You do look pretty. You do. And you, you're, you. you're a pretty girl. You're a young girl. You have dreams for your life. Look, when you get so hard sometimes and you get so angry, you can't let anything in. Yeah. You're trying to keep the bad out, but sometimes you can't let the good in. I just get overwhelmed because being a single mom and doing the right thing, going without to make sure that they have, which I do, and most women my age don't, it's overwhelming. And especially to have extra drama. And all you got to do is take her to shout and wait till the results come. You didn't have to do all of this. And but I was willing to come and I'm getting it taken care of. So I'm yes. glad that it, it's... You got in a situation, okay? You and Mr. McKinley got in a situation. Yeah. Like I said, he ain't off the hook, but I'm more concerned with you because he's got support. Hey, look, yeah. So when you think I was focusing on you because I was most angry or I thought you were most at fault, mm -hmm. no, I'm focusing on you because you stand there by yourself. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for understanding. Absolutely. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for the results? I wanted to, I wanted to say something. I had made a, a rap about the whole situation. Oh! And I wanted to see if I can express that with no interruptions. Can you hold she, somebody in contempt? Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Thompson has the courtroom. Let me tell you a little something about me. Pretty Mac Kool-Aid solo grinding one deep. I met him on Facebook, he inboxed me. Trying to see if he could take me out to eat. I'm knowing this dude wanna get in them sheets. I'm from Triple D, so I'm so discreet. Make the dude say he wanna marry me. I don't got time, I'm on my grind. Money, 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 that's on my mind. He got me pregnant, stuff got hectic. I got on that phone and start talking reckless. I can't help it, I be stressing. But my kids, yeah, they a blessing. 
and it's me. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Very good. Truly, cool, Yana, can I say something? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't trying to rap. I just want to talk. <laughs> No, I heard what you had to say, and I'm not cutting you off because I don't want you to have your time. I'm cutting you off because your last statement had you right in the place where I feel like we can make progress. So I'm holding you there. The envelope, please, Ron. Yes, ma'am. In the case of Thompson versus McKinley, when it comes to six-month-old legend, it has been determined by this court Mr. McKinley, you are the father. <laughs> and he's a handsome young, he's a handsome baby. He gets compliments all the time, so. He is beautiful. In the spirit of that beauty and that innocence, let's go forward better than we have before. I don't want drama. I, I never did want drama. It just hurt me when I asked for something and they don't do it. I wish I had little boxes and I could wrap it up for you all, put a bow on it and send you out. Like, life is perfect now. But no, that takes work. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take you all to stay in this place. I see tears in your eyes, Mr. McKinley. Yes, because I've been mm -hmm. wanting to be a pulp, but she limited that. Well, we're not with... talking about that. Hey. I did. <laughs> we're not talking about that. You see what I'm saying? Don't go back. Yeah, they go fall. We and know there were how, issues. If you want Don't to them, you go can. back. Ms. Jackson, you say you're here to confront your husband's mistress and to prove her one-month-old daughter, Kiasia, is not his biological yes, daughter. Yes, Your Honor. Furthermore, you say, if you learn today that the child is in fact your husband's, your marriage is over. That's right, Your Honor. Miss Lipscomb, you say that you have no doubt your child is her husband's daughter. You claim he had sex with you, made a baby, and now she needs to deal with the truth. That's all right, Yana. Mr. Jackson is waiting outside of the courtroom and we'll meet him shortly. But first, Ms. Jackson, tell me, how did you find out your husband may be having a child with well, his mistress? Yana, let's talk about that. I got an epiphany, call it woman's intuition, whatever you want. Well, I went to my husband's job. It was about 9.30 or 10.30 at night. And he, he approached the car. We talked for a few minutes. And to end our conversation, I told him, I feel as though there's something going on that you hadn't told me. Because he had been distant in the days prior to. I had put him out. So, Your Honor, and as we were standing outside talking, we were in the front of the building, and the defendant, pops up in the car like she's Ricky Raccoon or somebody, Your Honor. <laughs> Upon hearing my voice, I turned around and I went and knocked on the window. I asked her if she knew my husband. I called him by name. She said she did. She introduced herself as his girlfriend. It's I said, not. well, hi, girlfriend, because I'm his wife. <laughs> like, at that point, your role is kind of insignificant. Like, I'm his wife. Nice to meet you. So she and I proceeded to talk. She started to tell me about how they were intimate, how she lived with him at the hotel that he was presently staying at. Oh. Um, so, Miss Lipscomb, upon meeting her, she told me she was three weeks pregnant. This was November 25th. He, he wears his wedding, well, not lately, Your Honor, but he wore his wedding band faithfully. Well, if I see a wedding band on a man's finger, then I ain't gonna continue to talk to him. <laughs> it ain't no, I don't care what he tell me. So, at that time, she uh, told me, oh, well, he told me it was from a prior marriage. That didn't even sound right. Why would I still be winning? So, hold on. Let me just go over to Miss Lipscomb. You remember this encounter? Yes, and she's not being all the way honest. Okay, what is it you feel she's leaving out? I don't know what her intentions was when she came to that job. Why did she come up there or why didn't she come up that's there? that's my husband. I've never seen her a day in my life. I knew her voice. I was sitting up. How did you know her voice? Because when I'm around um, Mr. Jackson and she calls and the kids calls, that's how I know her voice is so high pitched. Your you honor. can hear her through Your the phone. Honor. But she was always labeled as my BM, which is my baby mother. 
BM does not spell wife. Wife is spelled W I F E. Oh, she not spell, Your Honor. Wow. Okay. So it didn't dawn on me to ask, Are you married now? Because if you're married now, why have you been living in a room for three to four months? And I he have a key to your room. room. To I got months. clothes in your room. I'm extra room she every had a day, pay every pay night. Your Honor, I'm in his room every day, every night. I've never seen this woman. I've never seen this woman. So he never said my wife put me out. No, I never knew anything about a wife. Your Honor, she was labeled as BM, my baby mother. And he didn't have a ring on. He had the ring, but the ring was never that saying that this is my wife. Honor. The ring said this why is not from my previous with a ring marriage. On? But why do you wear a ring from a previous Thank marriage you. on the ring Common finger? Common sense, fall and get some. I mean, this, this, to each his own. He wear what he want to wear. He do what he want to do. Your Honor, but AKA, she trifling. At, and that's at what that, trifling at females that point, do. At that point, I feel like if this is your husband and this is so you say, y'all working on your family, you trying to get it together, why is your husband in the room and not at home with you and your kids? When I met her in the car that night, like I said, she told me she was pregnant. Um, maybe a week after that, I was talking to, because my husband went to jail that night, Your Honor. He and you I, sent I, them to jail I was over angry bogus. enough. She called Your the Honor. I was angry enough. <laughs> he sent them to jail. To send him to jail, Your Honor. It was room. an impulsive decision, and I understand it was not the right decision, Your Honor. Stupid. But yes, I sent him to jail because I knew that he had um, some legal issues going on in another state. The next morning, I go to the room to find Miss Lipscomb laying in the bed crying. I like told you I was going puppet. back to the room when like you was in the car died. talking to me. I have belongings at that room. I'm going back to That's that room and I will said. not leave all that right, room until All right, morning. all right, all right. Bottom line, we've got a wife and a mistress fighting over one man and Jerome. I'm ready to meet this man. <laughs> wow. Hey, watch your step going up the steps, so. Mr. Jackson, thank you for joining us today. How you doing, Your Honor? Oh, I am, uh... I'm still here, because I'm listening to a mess. Yeah. I am listening to a situation here. He created it, Your And Honor. you are in the middle of it. You helped. Ms. Lipscomb says she had no idea you had a wife. No, she didn't, because I never mentioned it to her, Your Honor. So that part of her statement is true. You never told her you were married. No, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson, you are the perpetrator of this mess. Mm -hmm. Because I'm gonna be straight up. When Miss Lipscomb first started talking, I didn't believe for one minute that she didn't really know you were married. Until you sat down in this chair and confirmed the lie you told her. Oh, I didn't tell her no lie. I just didn't never mention it to her. She oh. never asked. I never mentioned And so you would need to learn the lesson that anything less than the whole truth is a lie. Your Honor, not only have we had conversations, before I didn't deny the child, I went and bought over 900 and some dollars worth of stuff for her baby, uh, Your Honor. It wasn't um, dollars. And you did that because... Your Honor, there's, like I told her, um, from the conversation, Your Honor, she seemed really distraught. She said that, um, I don't know how it feels not to know who your child's father is, Your Honor. So as a woman, I feel obligated woman to woman, whether it's my husband's child or not, out of the kindness of my heart, Your Honor, I understand that we all have shortcomings. So yes, I went and bought things for the baby. At that time, I believe that she had left, like she was done trying to be with my husband or mess with my husband, Your Honor, because that's the idea that she gave me. As far as I know, it went on um, it ended when Mr. Jackson went to jail. It's up and is what okay, I knew. Okay, so let's stop that period. Pause. Miss Lipscomb, did the affair end when he went to jail? Yes, ma'am. So you have not been intimate with him since? Yes, ma'am, I have. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Jackson, what happened when you found out your mistress was pregnant? I found out when I was in jail, cause I guess the beginning of the year, her birthday time, she got sick and went to the hospital. And my wife told me that she said she was pregnant then. On her Facebook page, Your Honor, she had listed that she was going to the hospital. At that time, Your Honor, she was with another man. And I have evidence, if you would let, allow me to present it, Your Honor, of her talking about her and this other man that is Okay, so prison. this proves, Jerome, let me see this. This is... So what you're saying, this piece of evidence... It was never... ...shows a... that she was also 
dealing with another yes, man. Yes, Your Honor, John, she told it me that, never that a gentleman was that I had a care. boyfriend in the beginning. Your husband knew just like you. Your so Honor, don't act she like said it was that the young man was, was taking with care of her when she was sick, Your Honor. She said that the young man was yes, taking care of her. And your husband know that, that too. So was, what else are you trying to prove? That it was the young man's baby. From my standpoint, it's a community baby. It's anybody's baby because she's community shared property. It ain't yours, so I don't understand why you're Thank God, Your Honor, I went out... So hold on now. Let me just read this. I'm alive and healthy, and a lot of people don't make it to C-27. It would be a blessing for me. I love you all, and I'm really missing my man. So, you believe that there's another man Ms. Lipscomb has been involved with sexually... Me, Your Honor. ...that could be the father of this child? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Lipscomb, when you had the baby, was he at the hospital? Did he cut the cord? He didn't cut the cord, but he was there. So he did come for yes. the birth? Yes. And Mr. Jackson, did you sign the birth certificate? Yes. You did? Yes. So if it's Your not Honor, his child, Your why would he sign the birth certificate? And even more to speak on so her Mr. behalf. Mr. Jackson, you've acknowledged paternity. Yes. Your Honor, that's why the baby was placed on my benefits. Um, this is my what military she keeps saying, that the baby is placed on her benefits, Your but Honor, I her also baby for is what? Anything for placed my child. on my benefits, Your Honor. I also have proof of that, Your Honor. Let me see that paper. Um, he automatically claimed all legal and financial responsibilities to that child because he is deemed as my dependent on my military benefits, at which time that child becomes my dependent as well on my benefits. They have not paid for anything for my child. My child still have a $25,500 and some hospital bill from the hospital. So if my child is on your benefits, why haven't they paid that? So you why don't haven't believe I received anything your child from you? is on her benefits? No, I just believe she wants to know if this is his child so she can divorce him. Don't use my child as a crutch. If you want to divorce him, divorce him. Yep. Don't use my child as a crutch. This woman is delusional. The whole time I was pregnant, I'm delusional she swore that she was pregnant. My husband. I, she's been pregnant four times since I have had my daughter. Your Honor, Sitting what right she's here not that telling she you that I'm pregnant May, now. That's the part me, that I had saying, admitted I told you every time, every time. Hold on, hold every on. Time. Let's get some order. Every time. What did you just say, Mr. Jackson? I'm pregnant now. I'm due May 5th. Mr. Jackson knows about it. I've invited him to doctor's appointments. Um, he and I talked about it. He said to me, well, I don't care what nobody thinks because you're my wife. And at the end of the day, that's just what it is. You my wife, and I don't care what people think. Oh, so, Mr. Jackson, now your wife is pregnant. That's what she says she's pregnant, Your Honor. She so, now you don't that. believe she's pregnant? I don't know if she is or she's not, Your Honor. Ms. Lipscomb, is, are you still in a relationship with him, too? It's, it's we friends, it's iffy, it's whatever. We're friends. But he's married, Your Honor. She just so, made the point of and, saying... See, she's saying and, Your Honor. She just and made I the am, point of and I'm saying... I'm going to continue to say I'm it. not the type of person that will break up a happy home. Oh, well, your, your, your home was married. already broke Why up and you your home was in? not happy when she I came into the your picture. Honor, your home was broke up and it wasn't happy no. then. Listen, ladies. And I'm being generous with my language. I don't know if you all think you scoring points or impressing anybody with this tit-for-tat nonsense, but you just look silly. Honor, because ultimately, he's not fighting for either one of y'all. Your Honor, and that's... He's sitting over here, quiet, just watching a, a random tennis match with two women going back and forth, back and forth, and he's sitting there with a smirk on his face, like, I'm done with all this nonsense. He's a coward. So Your I Honor. don't know what. Yeah, but you carrying a coward's child. Your Honor, right, Your Honor. And you have said it 4,000 times in open court. That's your husband. He is my husband. Your husband ain't saying nothing. Right, Your Honor. This is why, because this is all you get. Even if I do say something, what's the point? They still gonna go backwards and forward. It's still gonna be taken. So, Mr. So... Jackson, look, do you believe? Miss Lipscomb's child is your child. Do you believe Keasia is your child? Yes, Your Honor, it could be a possibility. It is a yes. possibility. Yes. And yet you did sign the birth certificate yes, and acknowledge paternity. Yes, Your Honor. So you legally are the father of this child. Yes. Are you paying child support? No. <laughs> hmm. But she's on your wife's military benefits. Yes. Now, you yes. know that don't make no sense. Now, I didn't even know how that happened, when it happened. She brought I'll that tell you how it attention. happened. On the day when you doubtfully signed paternity she brought and that created to my another attention dependent. Way before then. Are you gonna raise this baby? Uh, what? I, I, 
It's what? like you say, um... I'm not your wife. I want to an answer. It's like you say, my Are you going to raise doctor? the baby? <laughs> You're not going to raise this baby. See, see, you up at, uh, up at the hospital performing. You performing. Now, you this baby's legal father and sitting up here and I ask you, are you going to raise her three times? You ain't answered me yet two feet away. Come on. Stop the nonsense. You see this? Yes, ma'am. That's your child's legal father. <laughs> I'm not laughing. This is exactly how lying, secrecy, sexual irresponsibility, infidelity, this is how it all mixes up to create an absolute nightmare for a gorgeous little she girl. She is beautiful. Oh, I'm talking about beautiful. She make me want another one. Yeah. Just a beautiful little girl. But what I dislike most about this situation is that we have been here talking back and forth about the nonsense, messiness that you cause, you allowed him to cause, and you realized he was causing and still got pregnant by him again, and we're not talking enough about Key Asia. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Before I get to the results, if I said to you, Mr. Jackson, you could step down off of that witness stand and go stand at either podium, next to the woman you support in this drama you created. I wouldn't created. stand by neither one. I'd just stand in the middle because it's still going to be drama. <laughs> it, it really would. Ladies, you heard that, right? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, Ray Charles can see this. Now thing. you know. It don't even matter. Okay, results, please. Jerome, let's just stand in the middle in Mr. Jackson's place. <laughs> hmm. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Jackson versus Lipscomb Jackson, when it comes to one-month-old Keasia Jackson, Mr. Jackson, you are not the father. <laughs> well, thank you. It's still over. It's still over, Your Honor. Now it's not even her husband's child. After all of this, what about this beautiful little baby? Do you know who her father is? Yes, Your Honor. Is he gonna wanna be a part of her life? No, probably not. Oh. Oh. Ladies, there's some days where you gotta put your big girl panties on. <laughs> you put them on, you do what you gotta do and figure out what you gotta figure out and you get it done, cause he's not gonna help.